Hey there. So I was looking to uh, reduce the clutch travel in my 2016 Volkswagen Golf R. You see it kind of goes all the way to the back there. And this is the normal clutch stop. And I wanted to replace that and I found that there were uh, at least one manufacturer online that provided a piece and I saw some other things that um, you could use to actually replace this clutch stop. And I came across a website where a guy kind of did this on a DIY sort of framework and it was pretty interesting. And so I thought, well, let me go ahead and just try to get those pieces and I'll show you what those are. Uh, basically, um, it's just going to be one of these heavy-duty pads that you would attach to the bottom of a, a chair, chair legs. And they come with some screws, but I'm going to use uh, a screw that's a little bit different than that. So you just need one of these. And then they also had some of the washers, uh, just rubber washers. Um, and these ones are... Uh, 3 16 inch by one and a half inches and it just basically matches the outside diameter of the chair pad that I pick and the 3 16 diameter hole is just representative of this internal hole here and I just picked the smallest one I mean you could probably pick whatever one you wanted but I matched the pads with uh, the chair pad and this is just kind of a hard uh, rubber that has a metal washer on the inside and then also they recommended um, or they used, in fact, a one of those little drywall anchors. And I'm gonna have to cut that down a little bit. The guy said that 20 millimeters happens to be the ideal length. And that's basically cutting the head off of this drywall anchor. Um, also, uh, he used a one inch screw. Uh, he used a body screw. Uh, the closest thing that I had were these metal screws that have like a hex head on it um, but I'm sure that you could use any kind of screw that was again he said one inch I'm going to test that out I'm going to put these things together and uh, then kind of show you how I did it and hopefully it'll be something useful okay so this is a relatively simple operation thankfully for just installing this clutch stop and all you have to do is you reach up and take out the OEM clutch stop like that. It's basically just this uh, real thin rubber piece with the rubber tip on it that went into the old hole. And then I, I pieced together four of those rubber washers uh, along with the chair stop and on the thread the guy said before you put in the um, before you put in the drywall anchor to kind of pre-thread it with your screw so that when you put it in it doesn't spin as uh, as you're putting the um, the screw in and so I cut that tip off because he had mentioned that by doing that you can get a flush with the um, with the base. And so it's in there. Didn't really think it was going to fit, but it looks like it's going to work. Um, then I've got the uh, just the screw that I was going to use. Insert it in. This is probably going to be the most complex part, but actually, I'm getting it lined up with that. And of course, I've got to use this hex head that I can't see. This base. Um, can't really see where I'm lining this up. Wow, it's so much easier when they just show you pictures. So. And you just tighten that in. Like 
I'm obviously just getting this. Sometimes I can with my fingers. And there you go. It's been installed. So now we've got this travel. It stops a little bit shorter than the OEM. And I'll probably mess around with it a little bit more just to make sure that I can get it in there tight enough. But I think I'm going to like that a lot better. And I may have a follow-up just to kind of let you know if it feels any different. Uh, I may try to get that screw tightened in there a little bit better too. So anyway, uh, hopefully that was... Um, Helped a little bit if you guys wanted to have something that helped you with uh, decreasing your clutch travel. And that's a nice little DIY option that you can do in your Golf, GTI or R. And this, again, this is a Mark 7. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.